Welcome back everybody to Sub Assistance. I am an old guy gaming and I want to try something. Uh, I heard somewhere, I can't remember, uh, I think it was maybe a video that I watched, the Molotovs are actually really good for breaking down uh, hunter doors. And I just got attacked by Bravo and I took them out so they are not over there but it is late in the day so if we need to, if we're going to do this we need to get going now. And so we have this one Molotov. I'm going to try it out. Uh, you know, we got this in the lava cave in the last episode. Oh, man, that was a fun episode, too. I can't wait to get back down into that lava cave and get some more fat loots. But, um, excuse me, um, we got this Molotov, and I want to try it and see if it actually it does significant damage. Because um, I heard, like I said, I heard that watching somebody else's video, I think it was. But also, I had, a, you know, the hunters attack <clears throat> my wood wall with the Molotov, and it seriously damaged it so you know this could actually be a thing um so let's go ahead and come over here <coughs> excuse me and these guys have a still also so we could use their still to make them if it turns out that this is actually a good idea all right so let's grab this guy and we'll put it in that slot and then let's just let that burn and we'll see how much damage it actually ends up doing uh, and I've got, you know, a bunch of picks with me in case it doesn't do that much. So we can at least still break in and do our thing. Let's grab this while we're here. Uh, there, Claymore is right there. Um, so I haven't touched it. We'll just leave it there. Okay, so uh, it definitely looks like it did some damage. Um, let's see here how much. Oh, yeah, that took that sucker down almost halfway interesting okay let's go ahead and break in i mean that did damn near as much damage as a grenade and it's got to be cheaper to make than a grenade is so let's break in and we'll look in there still to see what it takes to make these i think you need potatoes if i if if i know right um and then we'll go you know we'll we'll, we'll decide whether or not it's worth it to maybe you know, use theirs or even just make our own, depending upon how expensive it is. All right, here we go. Oh, there he is. And there he goes. Anybody up here? Nope. All right, let's take this out of here. Um, all right, let's look at this thing. So to make this, you need six potatoes and a water, and it's 65 power. Does that only make one, though? Because six potatoes is kind of expensive. Hmm. If it makes more than one, then yeah, definitely worth it. If it only makes one, not so sure. But you know what? I think we have enough time. Uh, let's get all this stuff here. Oh, nice. We got some plates. Uh, take all. Uh, we got three plates. We got some adhesive. Say so pretty good stuff. Um, let's turn this on and overdrive it so there's plenty of power. And I want to see if how much it makes. So let's run back to the base and grab uh, six potatoes and one water. And if it only makes one, I have to think about that. But if it makes more than one then it very well could be worth it. I mean, grenades are still more expensive, but six potatoes, um, you know, you, that could run out really quick unless you, you know, unless I really dedicate uh, the farm to potatoes, <clears throat> maybe even, you know, have another crop lot. I don't know. But the grenade itself, uh, you stupid bear, the grenade itself, uh, I'm sorry, the Molotov itself, did very similar damage to the grenade. Maybe not quite as much, but close enough to where, um, you know, it wasn't that big of a difference. So if these are actually cheaper to make, then, you know, two Molotovs and then a couple hits on the door and they're down might make it a little more feasible to raid these guys more frequently. Uh, okay, so let's grab six of these and water. And uh, let's put some of this other stuff away. Oh, let's see. That goes in there. All of this stuff does. That That will throw in the thing. Uh, you can go in there. 
Put all that stuff away, and that stuff away, and this stuff away. Alright, that's good enough. We don't have much time. We're running out of time. I'll worry about the rest of that stuff later. So we have to get back there, and we still have to make it, too. I don't know how long it's going to take to make it. We should have enough time to make this happen, though. So if it only makes one, I'm, I'm going to be kind of eh about it. But if it makes more than one, then it definitely something to, to think about. So let's just see what it does. Okay, so we'll put those in and those in and... Uh, oh, I guess we have to keep those in our own inventory, right? Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, this takes a bit of time. That's a, that's another consideration. Oh, gosh. I hope we have enough time to, to finish it before nightfall. I, th I think we will. I think we will. Okay. Let's just grab that. Oh, did we fill their power all the way up? We must have. We can tell by looking here. Oh, yeah, it's completely filled up. These guys don't put extra power storage in. That's interesting. Well, that's already cooking, so why don't we waste all their power? Waste their fuel and their power. <clears throat> because we can. Turn their light on. Um, is there anything else we can do to screw with them? I don't think so. Yeah, this this does this takes a long time. I'm not too worried about that though, because um I mean, if I if I think this is a good idea, I'll probably just make my own distiller at the base because, you know, of the fact that it takes so long. Uh, the 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 kicker for me is going to be whether or not it makes one or more. Because six potatoes just seems a little bit on the expensive side for one Molotov. Um, I should have you know what I should have brought some stuff to make another tank, but <clears throat> it's yeah we don't have time to run back now. Yeah, I wish I would have thought about that, but I didn't. So, oh man, it's not even halfway done yet. Jeez, Louise. Okay, well, we're just going to stay here. I mean, absolute worst case scenario, they respawn and we we fight them. They should spawn outside. Oh, I think they'll spawn outside. And we'll just fight them from their own base. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So that's overdriving, and then this is sucking all their power down. You know, if, if we actually do end up killing them again tonight... We, we could actually come and use their stuff, so maybe I won't. I mean, we might as well use that up, but let's actually turn this off. Uh, we got 140 mass there. Oh, you know what we could do? We could use their crafting bench to make that. Oh, no, we have to make that. Yeah, no, we have to make that in the BCU. Oh, uh, they're going to spawn back in. This is going to be fun. Okay, we got lots of shotgun shells. We got lots of those rounds, so. Yeah, this takes a very long time. I It kind of makes sense, though. I mean, it's <clears throat> distilling alcohol, so it should take a while. But this is a game, too, so you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. Best place to fight these guys. Uh, where is the best place to fight these guys? We can't really fight them from up here because... They got windows in the way. We could fight them from here, though. Nail them when they come up the stairs. Because <clears throat> I seriously doubt that's going to be done by the before they respawn. I really wish we had a way to tell the time in this game. Because they'll respawn at midnight. Whenever midnight actually is. Okay, it's done. Yeah, it only made one. Hmm, I don't know, you guys. I mean, that's not even the Molotov. That's just alcohol. Get your back. Are they going to come in their house? I 
They seriously not. Oh, they don't know I'm in here. Look at that. Come on in. And one more. Oh, did we already kill that other guy? Oh, we did. Okay, he's dead. All right. Well, Bravo's base belongs to us for another day. Um, what we're going to do with that, I'm not entirely sure, but um, where is <coughs> his... Where's his uh, pack at? Uh, I think it disappeared. Son of a gun. Here, let's take that stuff. Yeah, I don't see it. It must have fallen through the world or whatever happens to those things when they disappear. Okay, well, we have this base that we could use for the day. We got 500 power... And 140 mass. Um, we should probably make some more oxygen tanks. That's probably the most important thing we can make here. Um, you know what, though? Something just occurred to me. Um, why don't we put this in here and generate some more power? Uh, I'm not going to generate any more mass on them. Uh, but what we could, we, we definitely should make some more of these. So we'll do that. And then um, maybe we'll bring some ores and stuff over here to smelt too. Because we basically have their base for for 24 hours now. And so we might as well, you know, take full advantage of that. I have lots and lots of biofuel, so I could just <clears throat> come back over and, you know, load up their generator. Uh, but, like I said, the most important thing we can make right now is the, uh, uh, let's go this way. Some more tanks. I have, like, three and a half tanks right now, I think, or something like that. But I think, you know, going down into those caves, you should have a minimum of two. And I'm a little more comfortable with three. And if you have extra, you know, then you can spend some time... Going after pearls, too. Okay, so... <clears throat> um, let's see. What are we doing here? Oh, uh, I want to see... Where do we make the Molotovs? Okay. So it takes... Oh, shit, it takes two alcohol to make a Molotov? And glass? Ooh, I don't know, you guys. Unless it makes more than one, that's the thing. Holy shit, that's 12 potatoes, though. To make two of these. Alright. Let's do it. We'll grab six more potatoes. And we're going to put this stuff back in here. Uh, let's just put the alcohol there for now. The boards can go in there. This can go into our, uh, ma our mass uh, thingamadoodle later on. Or actually, well, no, let's just keep it here. Let's keep it here. We can always bring it back over later if we decide that that's a good idea. This pick can also be recycled. That goes there. That goes there. Those go there. Okay, so we need another canteen to make that other alcohol. And we're going to need some zinc. And uh, what the hell was the other thing? I think it's cordage. Yeah, I think it's cordage that we need to make the tanks. All right, what are you doing right now? You're working on crystals. Okay, so you keep doing that. How's our power? Uh, we need to restart our jennies because I just got a lot of stuff running right now. Okay, so let's let that go. Um, all right, let's head back and make ourselves some tanks. How many tanks do I have? Let's, let's look again. Okay, I've got, well, I have, have three and a half. So, yeah, let's make a couple more. Um, I also want to see <clears throat> what's it make cost for a distiller. It's not that expensive. I mean, three circuit boards. We have two circuit boards already. 
So yeah, we we'll make one our, of our own, just because it takes so long, you know, to to distill. Uh, we'll make one of our own if I decide that this is worth doing. But I'll tell you what, man, if we get to the end of all of this, and we it makes one Molotov, then you know what, Bear, get the hell out of here, dude. You are pissing me off. I don't have time for your bullshit. Um, there is. Oh, that's a deer. <clears throat> if that just makes one Molotov, that is so not worth it. But if it makes like a batch of five or something like that, you know, then I'm then I'm thinking, okay, that is worth it. But we'll just see. Level three. What the hell? Oh, the deer. Right, the deer. The deer keeps throwing me off, man. So we'll make a couple more air tanks while we're here, and we'll get another uh, thing of alcohol going. <coughs> Let's do this first because it takes so damn long. Uh, okay, so I get that going. And then let's make, um, I think just two is good enough for now. And what the hell, let's make three. Okay. And then this is, you know, I don't, I don't know if I want to actually give them all my fuel. Oh shit, I should have brought stuff for, for this too. Damn it, Jim. Damn it, Jim. Well, that's going to take a long time, so I guess I, I can run back. How long are you going to take? Okay, let's grab this. I'm going to come back with a pile of ore for that thing, too. Okay, we are back at their base. I brought 100 um, of potassium uh, for them to process for us. And I brought some empties, too, that we can fill up. Okay, are you done yet? You are. <clears throat> let's grab that. Let's grab our two other tanks. And... Um, how much power does the place have now? Oh, yeah, that that should be enough, I would think, to run this for the whole rest of the day. So we just have to remember to come back here at the end of the day. <coughs> Excuse me, and grab the potassium. Okay, let's go over here, fill up our canteens, and then we're going to go back to the base and make um, what I hope will be multiple Molotovs. And then go from there. Okay, let's grab this other Molotov. Um, <clears throat> man, I don't have any room. I'm gonna have to make another chest. You know what we should do is let's make one of the big chests just to see what that's all about. We, we will, we'll do it. We'll get her done. Okay. So what else do we need to make this sucker? Um, four glass. One, two, three, four. And a hide. And 180 power and 40 mass on top of all of that. All right, at least it, it crafts quickly. Okay, let's see what this thing does. One. Really? You got to be kidding me. Really? Wow. That is incredibly expensive. 12 potatoes. A long time to just distill the alcohol. And then on top of that, four glass, 180 power, and 40 mass for one Molotov? No way! Okay, well, now we know that is not worth it. Not even close to being worth it, in my opinion. Not even close. I mean, how much does it cost for a grenade? It costs um, more power. 55... I mean, yeah, a grenade's expensive, too. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to say it's not, but... I don't know, man. This is just... Wow. <laughs> that seems... You know, a, a grenade... If you compare the damage that a Molotov can do and a grenade can do, I guess in real life, though we want, we want to be kind of careful about not trying to compare real life to any game, but... Um, you know, and also the cost of making those things. I understand that the grenade costs what it costs, and I don't really have a problem with how expensive it is in this game, but this is way, way too expensive, in my humble opinion, and I will not be making those. If we happen to come across them, 
um, great, but I won't be making them. Not going to do it. Okay, look at that, guys. We have, uh, when that's done, we'll have 102 crystal plus another 28 here. Uh, I think it's time for us to make a ginormous batch of premium arrows. I think it is. We might as well. What the hell, right? Um, but before we do that, though, we were going to make, uh, we're going to check out the large storage. Uh, so that's going to be this guy here. So we're going to need 120 mass, five plates. We have three that we just looted. All right. And we also have a few things in here that we can feed into uh, the mass recycler. So let's do that now. Okay, so that gets us up to 124. How much did we need? Uh, large storage. Okay, we got enough, but we do have to make two more plates. So that's going to take some of the mass back. So we might have to use our mass generator for just a little bit. Okay, so we need some zinc and iron for that. Uh, zinc and iron and some scrap metal. All right, let's make two of these. And put this back here. Looks like we're going to need to craft up some more zinc. And we're a little bit low on copper, too. So let's put those two in there. Uh, we're going to still need the iron for the arrows, too. These are really expensive arrows. We, we might want to think about upgrading our bow to the next level too. What's that going to require, by the way? Um, I mean, not incredibly expensive. We can, we can handle that, I think. Yeah, okay, we'll probably will. Since we're going to use these better arrows, let's get a little more oomph out of our bow too. Uh, but let's, before we do that, I want to make the large storage first though. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, we should have everything now to make the large storage except for mass. I want to see how how you know good this actually is. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna need 120 mass. We're gonna need 10 boards. So we got that there. So I think what we're gonna to have to do, unfortunately, because I don't have anything else to feed into the mass uh, that I want to feed into the mass, is we're just gonna to have to turn this on for a little bit. I'm even gonna eh, overdrive it. Is such a waste, isn't it? Now let's not let's not overdrive it. Let's just keep it on. We got both of these guys running. Okay, we're gonna pull the iron out of here, and we'll just keep the, that there for now. That goes here. Does it cost us electricity and mass to make these arrows? It doesn't. Okay, good. All right, so we can. Um, the question there is, do I want to, are we going to need anything for this that the arrows require? We need boards, plates, and crystal. No. Okay. So let's grab the, uh, oh, I guess I already did grab those. Okay, um, let's see. How many of these do I already have? I've got nine. Let's make 41 so we have a total of 50 to start with. I'm not going to just go crazy with this. So that's, what, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 9, 30, 1, 32, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9, 40, 41. There we go. Okay. Um, okay, so we still have 63 more premium arrows left after that. Let's put this back. I think we're finished with the iron fragments for now. And uh, we're just waiting now on 120 mass, which we just hit. So let's turn this off. And make a large storage. Let's see how big the sucker is. Boom, baby. Where are we going to put this thing? Um, maybe right here. Hopefully we can put it right there. <laughs> I don't know how big it's actually going to be. Uh, 
Okay. We have made ourselves a large storage. Okay, it's not humongous. Physically, you know, it's external size. Let's just put, stick it right there. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have 42 slots. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, 30. So this gives us 10 more slots, basically. Wait, did I count that right? Five times six is 30. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, 42. Um, so it gives us 12 more slots. All right, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the water in here because that's the one thing that takes up so much space. And if we wanted to, we could even make some some more canteens now. And then that frees up this guy. Um, okay, so wh why don't we do this? Why don't we move building pieces and equipment um, over to here? And this, this will be kind of more for ammunition. So that's it. Guns, ammunition, that sort of thing. Tools and equipment and building stuff we'll keep in here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we still have we still have 79 crystals left over even after making all those arrows. That's kind of cool looking. All right. Um, it's I'm I'm okay with it. I guess I, I was kind of hoping we'd get a little bit more space than just that, but it's okay. It's okay, man. It's okay. All right. Let's grab that water out of there and this water out of here. Okay, you're making all these beautiful arrows for us. Now, what do we need to do again to upgrade this sucker? Um, weapon parts are not a problem. Pearls <coughs> are not a problem. Rope's not a problem. But we do need four ingots. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's going to be the biggest pain in the ass. I've got over 100 sinews, so ropes are just not an issue. And we have 27 pearls. So we're doing good on that front. Um, and we have a pretty decent amount of iron now. Plus we're, you know... Uh, processing more copper there. Um, so to make four ingots, uh, can we... One, two, three... No, we need a little more mass. Okay. Well, I don't want to... I don't want to run this while we're getting free mass. It just never makes sense to do that. So we're going to have to wait just a little bit longer before we can get the bow upgraded but I think you know with an upgraded bow and the premium arrows uh, this bow should be a force to be reckoned with man a force to be reckoned with okay well uh, let's see here it is afternoon and it's also uh, oh I'm hungry let's eat one of these and we're also thirsty too that gets us up to uh, back up to 118. At one point, I was 120 or 121 until we died doing the hang glider thing a couple episodes ago. Uh, we need a drink too. It's just toasty in here right now. So yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna let you go here uh, because we are out of time anyway. Uh, and I'm gonna run back over to Bravo's place before uh, right before dark and just get some potassium. I've got a chest up there. And then after that, we'll figure out what our next, <coughs> excuse me, move is for the next episode. But we are getting close to the end of season one here of this series because we've done just about everything there is to do, really, if you think about it. Uh, we haven't made the lathe. We're using Bravo's diving station. We've decided the distiller is a complete waste of time. I uh, don't really need the AC unit. I mean, we could make that. I'm sure it would help, but... Um, we haven't made the BCU extender. I don't know that we need to, really. We haven't made floodlights, but again, not necessarily uh, needed. So, yeah. Um, I would like to, to make at least one more foray back down into the lava caves. Um, whether we do that in the next episode or a couple more episodes coming up, we'll just have to wait and see. But that is it, guys. 
for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.